Alright, so we're now on to the 8th of September and it's well underway the show season. Um, this time of year it gets very busy, as you can imagine. Uh, full time work, uh, kids refurbing the house and also all the shows. So um, things get a bit neglected around the garden. Uh, there's a bit of mess kicking about but uh, these things happen. So once the shows are finished it'll get a good clean up. So yeah. Uh, show season on the way. I've just cut some flowers for the Northeast Horticultural Society, which is in conjunction with the National Potting Society. Um, really big show. You get a lot of top exhibitors there, so I've I've managed to get a decent cut of flowers. Um, I did plan it plan ahead a little bit. Uh, I've been checking the weather, and I knew that we were going to get a heavy downpour for around two hours. So um, I cut some flowers early this morning uh, before the showers. Just took a bit of a gamble I left half of them in the ground um, but I, I, I took the, the best of the bunch so um, the, the later ones the 50% of the flowers that I left I've got a touch of water and water damage but they'll be alright I'll stick them in the in a cold room with a fan going just to just to get them uh, dried out a little bit but um, I've cut the flowers and you, as you can see there's still a load left on um, especially the granite or pastel which is there um it's got a lot of dampening in the back just really not happy with that variety um i, I made a bit of a mistake um i only grew one medium semi cat one variety of medium semi cactus which is the grenadine or pastel uh, i should have grew two but uh I, you live and learn these things but the other plants that i've got in are, are looking good i've got a touch of dampening off on the um the giants but the giants in the large but I've managed to get a vase of three out of them, so happy enough with them. So onto the greenhouse. Uh, lots and lots of tomatoes starting to appear now. Um, so many that I, that you just cannot cannot eat enough of them. But just one of them things. Uh, super hot chilies. Uh, starting to ripen up now, so happy enough with them. Um, giant cucumber, as you can see, the powder mildew. I did give them a spray. Uh, but the powder mildew is taken over but I did let the plant grow up and out of the greenhouse so you've got another five foot it's you can see just down the outside there dripping down in the plant the part of the plant which has grown out of the greenhouse is lovely and fresh so uh, maybe it's maybe it's I've done the right thing um, but as you can see the cucumber it's got to be about 30 inches long so uh, that that's going in the Northeast Horticulture Society show tomorrow for the longest cucumber. So yeah, happy enough for that. I might even enter it at Harrogate. It seems like it's got a good weight to it, so we'll we'll see what happens with that. Um, I'll take you round to the onion tunnel. I did make a bit of a mistake. Um, I pressed record when I was lifting a couple of the onions, but um, I somehow managed to uh, miss the record button and it didn't record so um I'll, I'll do another reveal once uh once i left the onion in the air put at the back there uh, i've also got one there which which is a big one so uh, hopefully i'll get a video of that towards the end of the season uh, i've got i've got a few shows left to go so uh, still plenty of time there's, there's some big ones in there um i did pull out a one that was nine pound ten ounces so maybe it's a couple more weeks in the They'll be they'll be up there in the ten pound mark, so fingers crossed. Um, I have learned quite a bit this year that especially with the giant onions that there's there's a couple of different not varieties but well there is a couple of varieties but um, there's there's a flat bottomed variety and a thick necked variety. So say with the the Peter Glazebrook strain there, it's um, that's classed as a, a, a thick neck tall variety. And on the left here is a flat bottom variety. So if you, in a sense, if you've got more neck on a plant, it's going to weigh more. But yeah, we'll see what happens. I've, I've, I'll, I'll give it a, another good go next year. So we'll see what happens to them. Giant tomatoes growing in an air pot. They're just starting to ripen. Um, these are gigantamore. They're not going to be any record breakers or anything in there. But um, it's a first season I've grown, especially in the air pot. Uh, things that I would change for next year, I'm going to get an irrigation system which is a drip with the drip line on so um, 
take out the watering of the I should be able to keep on top of it a bit better so that's the that's the tomatoes and the in the onions really happy with the onions this year we had just one so we'll take it into into the, the leak tunnel I did a show last week and I managed to come third stroke fourth believe it or not uh, after the judging took place they managed to change things around which um, I think is a bit wrong but there's nothing I could say about it after the event after they changed it so uh, leaks this year I'm really really happy with the Giants so as I say I come third third stroke fourth in an open show against the grass which have been grown for some of them 40 to 50 years and I managed to place above some of them so very 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 happy with the with the results this year um, the, this strain here is Betty Black this strain on the right here is the Oxy Giant and tomorrow um, these are Cumbrians they're not as big as you can see but the quality of them is impeccable in comparison to the Giant variety so the Giant variety is biggest for best the Cumbrians is quality it you, you get you get scored on quality basically uh, bigger leak is obviously going to win if it's got the quality there so yeah um, lessons a lot of lessons learned this year um, will leak grown so all around good season so far so my main show for the leaks is next week where I put in uh, I put money into it every every week um, six pound a week so the prize money in that show is quite big so fingers crossed for that uh, dahlias, more dahlias. I'm really enjoying growing the, the Sherville Megan, which has been a, a soul release from um, Holds Ahead, and so really happy with that this year. Gladiator parsnips. Um, I bought the seed from Medwins, and every single one that I've pulled out has been absolutely perfectly uniform in size and shape of, of each other. So uh, I've got another two shows left. But to show these so hopefully i managed to get another couple of pairs out of them carrots so i've pulled two two thirds of a bed so far and um, my next show which i'm showing the mats is going to be in the national of Tarragon. Uh i've got about 120 left to pull so i need a set of which i think is three so chances are i might end up so yeah, there's a good chance that i'm going to be pulling the whole lot of these so um, we'll see what happens with them. I'll, I'll, I'll rig the camera up when I'm starting to pull them and uh, you'll see the results. I've had a, a lot of them uh, forking, so splitting. I'll pull I'll pull a one up and just show you what I mean. So that, there's one there. Looks all right, but I couldn't find a match for it, so I just put it back in and it'll continue growing. Um, split ends at the bottom. But as I say, you cannot, you cannot grow all this number and not get a couple that are misshaped. But with everything that I show, if it's no good for showing, it's good, good enough for the table. So um, yeah, stump carrots. Really happy with them this year so far. Some more Shervil Megan and Mary's Jamanda there. Sweet corn. I've had some sweet corn off. Yeah, doing very good in just general veg but as i say everything's starting to um get a bit neglected but it happens at this time of year oh one other thing i grew 150 glads and i grew a seed seedling which was ad 175 i don't know what it was called but it's been renamed as um flavor eskimo and i managed to get a vase of three and I managed the best in show with them last week, so really happy with that. Um, tell you what I'll do, I'll I'll stick some photos at the end of this video, and uh, you can have a look at some of the stuff that I've shown. So that's it for now. Um, fingers crossed, I'll give you a tour of the show uh, once it opens tomorrow. Thanks for watching.